Um, so I think when I'm thinking about my next step after a postdoc, it's definitely in terms of a career trajectory. So I know how kind of the things I've done up to being a postdoc align with the, the career that I thought I was going to have when I was starting grad school. And so, you know, I wanted to be a faculty member. and. Um, now I'm, I'm not sure if that's exactly where I want to go. And so when I'm thinking about the next step, it's thinking about where I would be happy working and how I would be happy working. And, um, you know, if being a professor is the only way that I can sort of meet my, my career goals. To me, a career is somewhere where you feel professionally, mentally, uh, emotionally fulfilled. It's something you believe in, it's something that gives you joy, uh, that gives you grief also, because it's not always easy. Um, I actually live in Vermont, so, and I'm tied to Vermont, so my partner has a job with the state, and so, and it's sort of a dream job for him. So we're, he got that job, we're in Vermont, we own a house, that's where we are. I'm a marine ecologist, there's no ocean in Vermont. So I have to sort of think about like what jobs can I get that are a bit more flexible um, and what career paths would look, what would look like that I have to be a bit more creative about and be thinking about what are the skills and experiences that I can bring to something, what is interesting to me that might not be um, a career path that other people might think about. To help me with that, I have talked to a lot of people who have done sort of non-traditional career paths and career arcs and heard a lot about how people have done different things through the course of their career. And for me, that's helped because it feels like there are so many different directions I can go. Um, and there are there is something beyond, you know, just sort of, okay, I'm, I'm a postdoc, I'm faculty, I'm tenured, or, you know, I'm a postdoc, I am an entry-level scientist at this institution or organization, and then I move up the ladder. Mine is probably going to be a little bit more winding than that, and um, I'm okay with that. but. It's more sort of what's next, what opportunities are available to me, and how to make the most of them. But I think when I visualize my career transition, so every time I look for another step, I'm looking at, I'm almost looking at it as, as like this big story that I'm telling about my own life that I get to choose. And a lot of times those changes in career or job or trajectory surprise me right at the end but they make sense when seen from the context of everything else that I've done. And so I'm not necessarily looking for a job in particular or a career um, in the sense that, yes, I, I need to look at things that help pay the bills and that obviously, you know, uh, pay, pay the rent. Um, but I think it's very important for me to look for something that makes me feel like I am pursuing something that I find valuable and that allows me to help others be their best selves um, and that leaves the world a little bit of a better place than uh, what it was before.